Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening, Lisette. Good evening, Manuel. How are you guys? I'm fine, thank you. I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Let me share with you guys the PPT, okay? So that we get started. Hello, teacher. Hello, Lizette. How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. Very okay, good. Good to have you in class. Welcome. Thank you. All right, everybody, let's get started. Let me see. Before anything else, I have a question. How are you with the platform? ¿Cómo vamos con la platform? ¿Ya terminaron la section three? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. Look at you guys. Excellent. So today we have class number seven. We are still in section three, all right? We need to practice some content learned in section three. We need to review some of that content and that's what we're going to do today. All right, so let me move on. We have this part with, which is, do you remember? All right. Esta parte nos ayuda a recordar el contenido que hemos visto durante clases pasadas. En este caso tenemos cuatro preguntas, right? Number one, mention at least three places. Let me see. Let me have, let's see Manuel, mention at least three places, tres lugares. Um, eh, de la última clase porque no estuve conectado. The one before that one. Hubo una antes uh -huh. que esa. Let's see. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, bank. Restaurant. Uh -huh. Restaurant. Restaurant. Uh -huh. Restaurant. Um, bank. And the drugstore. Um, uh, police station. Gas station. Excellent. There you have it, Manuel. Excellent. Gas station. That's correct. And then we have the second one. What are nouns? Let's see, Lisa. Do you remember what nouns are? Let's see. Let's see if we remember. If not, let me see Mayra. Hi, Mayra, how are you? Hi. How are you, Mayra? How are you, fine I'm pretty good, thank you so much for asking. So let's see, Mayrita, can you please help me with this one? What are nouns? ¿Qué son los nouns, Mayra? Uh, what are nouns? Parece que era del... ¿Cómo es que se llama este del...? Eh, me quiero acordar. Nows, nows. Pero ¿verdad que es del cuerpo? Eh, no, esas serían las parts of the body. Los nows uh -huh. es lo que utilizamos la semana pasada. Decíamos, teníamos unos ejemplos como el gas station, restroom. Pero yo quiero saber, quiero que me digan qué son los nows. Porque sí lo vimos y en dos clases. Sí, 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 es cierto, es cierto. Pero me quiero acordar. Sí, yo recuerdo eso, pero... Uh... Ok, <laughs> don't worry, my dear. Excuse me. Don't worry, don't worry. Solo quiero que este tema sí quede bien claro, right? Para que no les cueste, recuerden que los nouns, it's everything that you see around you. Es todo lo que nos rodea. Hay muchas cosas que son nouns. Pueden ser people, it could be a place, or a thing, even an animal, right? So those are nouns. Si recuerdan, había una palabra que decía nouns, equals a person, a, a place, an object, also animals, right? So let's keep into our minds that content, right? Tenemos que mantener eso en nuestra mente para saber identificarlo cuando nos pidan nouns, right? Porque en muchas oraciones sí es bien específico. Ponga un noun, ponga dos nouns, right? Entonces, si nosotros los sabemos identificar, se nos va a facilitar un poquito el poder realizar las sentences. 
Let's go with number three. What are compound nouns? Luego de explicarles qué eran los nouns, yo les expliqué qué eran los compound nouns. So, let's see. What about you, Lisette? Can you tell me what a compound noun is? Eh, I did. En lo que pasa es que no lo puedo explicar, pero eso es, es el compuesto de dos palabras que significa un lugar, pues, pero no, no sé cómo explicarlo. Ah, no, no se preocupe. Usted puede leer la información que yo les brindé. Por, Por ejemplo, ejemplo ¿no? es eh, gas station o drugstore que se conforman de dos nouns, ¿verdad? Para formar la lo que queremos decir, pero sí, no, no. Exactly. No, está muy bien, Lisa. That's okay. Excellent. So, basically, compact nouns, as our friend already mentioned, it's when you have two different words, a noun plus a noun, and you get them together and you put them together, right? Something particularly from compound nouns is the stress, the sound that we give to the compound nouns, right? Let's see, do you remember that the information said that the stress was at the beginning of the first word, right? It was the stress was located on the first word only. For example, if I have gas station, I cannot say gas station. No, I have to say gas station, right? Because my emphasis is going to be in the first compound noun. Right? Very good accent, guys. Do not worry. I got you. I understand that sometimes it's kind of difficult trying to handle the information, right? But it's good. This type of questions helps you to improve or to enhance your knowledge, right? Sé que puede ser un poquito difícil tratar de recordar todo lo que van aprendiendo porque es bastante content, pero este tipo de preguntas nos ayuda a recordar aunque sea pedazos pequeños del contenido, right? Y que no se nos olvide, que es lo más importante. Let's go with propositions of place. Let's see. Let me have... Sonia, Sonia, can you please tell me the prepositions of place? Oh, I see that you have your microphone closed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> number one, on. Number two, on the corner of. Number three, across from. Uh, four, next to. Uh, five, between. Excellent, Sonia. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with. Let me see. Elizabeth Campos, can you please tell me the prepositions of place? Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Uh, number one, on, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Excellent. Very good, that's correct, thank you. Let's go with Miguel Navarro. Miguel, tell me the prepositions of place. On. On the corner of, across from, next to, bet, between. Excellent, that's correct, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Alba Aguilar. Your turn. On, on the corner of, across from, next to, between. Excellent, very good. So, as a matter of review, I was needing, needed, right? right? these prepositions of place. Necesitaba que ustedes recordaran bien estas prepositions of place porque ya las vamos a utilizar, right? Si recuerdan, la clase pasada hicimos sentences, right? Las cuales le salieron muy bien, let me tell you. Pero ahora, ¿qué hay si alguien nos pregunta? Let's see this practice time. We have three instructions. Mm. Let me see. Mayra López, can you please read the instructions? Solo nos lee las instrucciones, Mayrita, please. Ok. Solamente del 1... Uno... Ah, de, del 1 al 3. Yes, exactly. Ah, ok. Uh, word in pair. 
two and one of you is going to have and direction. Mm -hmm. Three, the other classmate is going to answer the question. Exactly, that's correct, thank you. So one of you basically is going to ask when, where is located something, right? Let's see, recuerden que las prepositions of place es para preguntar dónde está localizado un lugar, all right? Todavía no estamos indica dando indicaciones de cómo vamos a llegar. Eso lo vamos a hacer en, en, durante la clase, right? Pero ahorita, para que podamos manejar lo que sigue después de este tema, necesitamos aprender a manejar estas prepositions of place, right? So let's practice. We have these questions. We have, where is this gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the US post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? All right, those are the questions. Maybe you already see, uh, you already saw these questions on the platform, all right? So I think it's going to be probably a little bit easier for you to work with this. So let's see, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, all right? Let me see. Miguel Navarro, okay, Miguel, you are going to ask, usted pregunta y escoja, eh, choose your classmate, choose your pair, usted va a escoger su pareja y él tiene que darle la respuesta basada en este mapa, right? Eh, ok, entonces hago la, la primera pregunta o cualquiera. Exactly. Usted escoge cuál pregunta quiere usar. Ok. Eh, primera, where is gas, gas, gas station? To whom? ¿A quién? Elizabeth Campos. Ok. Let's see, Elizabeth. Where is gas, gas station, according to the map? Gas station is... Um, ah, ya me acordé. <ríe> Yo hice una, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Una sentence, ¿Mm? pero me acuerdo que me corrigió. <ríe> The gas station is, is, no, quiero ver. Ay, no. Espéreme, espéreme. No, intentemos, intentemos, yo le ayudo. Es que me quiero acordar de cómo era. Aquí está, miren. Voy a utilizar ajá, esto. On the corner of, ajá. The gas station is, uh, it's on the corner of uh, First Avenue. Mm -hmm, that's correct. ¿Y cuál otra calle? And? And Center Street. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. Very good, Elizabeth. That's correct. Teacher, that's teacher, ah. y, ahí podría, y ahí podría ser the gas station is between, is on between First Avenue and Center Street. Yes, you can say that, pero no is on between. No, puede decir the gas, gas station is between the First Avenue and Center Street. Uh, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Sí, porque aquí se cruzan las dos, así que podemos tomar Center Street y también First Avenue. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, guys. Let me go with Manuel Rosales. Manuel, you ask. Usted pregunta cualquiera de estos lugares y escoge quién va a responder. Okay. Okay. Where is the hospital, Miguel Navarro? Bárbaro, manito. Es hospital, dijo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y exactly. ¿Dónde está el hospital? ¿Dónde está? Aquí, aquí está, está. Sí. el puntito rojo. <laughs> y es um, hospital on Central Street. Right. 
uh, we can say that the hospital is on Center Street. Okay. That's correct. Excellent. ¿Por qué decimos on Center Street y no decimos it's behind the department store, está atrás del department store o está next to the U.S. Post Office? Tenemos otras probabilidades, otras posibilidades, sorry. Pero la más fácil, si no encontramos otra y queremos dar una dirección, es solamente decir la calle donde está localizada, right? It's on Center Street. Y está bien. All right, okay. excellent. Thank you, Manuel and Miguel. Let me go with Alba Aguilar. Alba, you ask and choose your victim. Escoja su victim, Alba. Okay, where is this? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Um, let me see the participants. Kevin Hernandez. Right, excellent. Este es Bookstore. Yo los voy a ir guiando con este puntito rojo, right? This is the Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Kevin Hernandez, are you there? Buenas noches. Good evening. Second Avenida. Let's see. Casi no se mira. Aquí está, miren. Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Ella quiere saber a dónde está la Second Avenue Bookstore, que sería esta. Entonces, ¿qué preposition of place utilizaría usted, Kate? Aquí está el puntito, miren, el puntito rojo. Hay una bien basic que puede utilizar sin complicarse mucho. Eh, from. From. Donde es across from. What about this one? Puede, puede utilizarse esa, ¿verdad? Across from sería frente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Across from es cuando usted tiene que cruzarse. Are you... Yo creo, Kevin, que uh -huh. la más fácil Ayuda. sería esa, mire. Polis. O oh, no sé cómo, cómo es que dice. Don't worry. If you want me, I can help. What about, ¿qué calle es esta, Kevin? Ajá. Uh -huh. On the... On the corner of Center, Center Street. That's correct, sir. Very good. Very observative. Excellent. So, Second Avenue Bookstore is on the corner of Center Street. All right. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go with... Mayra Lopez, Mayra, choose your victim, please. Okay. Mm. Okay. What did you say? What is Second Avenue Bookstore? Mm -hmm. Ah, este tengo que ver aquí en verdad. Yes, <laughs> choose your victim. <laughs> Um, quiero ver. Um, Jancy Jiménez. Ok, Jancy. So, eh, repita su pregunta, Mayra, please. Sí, where is second? Where is second? Avenue Bookstore. 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 Uh -huh. Bookstore. Let's see, Jancy Jiménez. Maybe she's not into the class right now. Eh, Mayra, if you want, choose another person. Si usted desea, puede escoger a alguien más, Mayra, porque no contesta.
and Lisette Montoya. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Este, the Second Avenue Bookstore eh, is on the corner of Center Street. Eh, y puedo decir también in front post office. Mm -hmm. That's correct. You can say in front of the post office. Very good, Lisette. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right. No sean tímidos con dar directions, everybody. Si sienten que van a cometer un mistake, no se preocupen. Para eso estamos aquí, all right? Si no cometemos errores en el caso de un lenguaje, no estaríamos aprendiendo, all right? Porque de eso se aprende. Let me see. Let's go with Sonia. Sonia, choose your victim. Usted escoge su pregunta y escoge su víctima. Okay. Um, where is the hospital? Um, Jose Carpio. Okay. Where is the hospital, Jose Carpio? Explain. No, no, hospital. Ah, it's over here. Si ve el puntito rojo aquí que se mueve. Ok, ok. Eh, the hospital en eh, okay. B3, eh, gas station y on post office. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that could work. It could work, actually. Lo único, sí puede funcionar. What? La palabra bichi, lo que era entre. Sí o no? Sí, entre. No? Yes. En medio de. Sí. Ah, en medio de, sí. Exactly, Ajá. right? Te lo agregué, pero no, no está en la frase que ustedes tienen. Aquí está. Between propositions of time. Ah, sí está. Propositions of place, yes. Sí. Okay. All right, very good, sir. Now, what I wanted to tell you, lo que quería mencionarles es que si nos fijamos, si aplica el between, no hay ningún problema, pero también tenemos más options. Si ustedes se fijan, por aquí pasa la First Avenue y también el Center Street. It's way easier for you saying th something like, um, this hospital is next to the post office on Center Street, all right? Simple as that, also, if you want. If not, you can say it that way. Now, let me go with Veronica Esmeralda. Veronica, choose your victim, please. And choose your question. Where is the, the post office? Um, Jose Carvio. Again, to Jose. Okay. Okay. Pobre José. The post office is on Center Street and he in front of the the second Avenue bookstore. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, in this case, José sería across from. All right. Across. From. across. All right, okay. excellent, sir. Very good, easy, right? Ta, ya cuando van practicando, eh, van agarrando un poco más de confianza con ese tema, right? Yo sé, comprendo, créanme que comprendo que puede ser un poco difícil, all right? Ya estamos hablando de un mapa, no es que mentalmente estamos haciendo todo, no, estamos viendo el mapa, por ende, nos dejamos guiar por eso. So I know it's a little bit difficult, but very good job, excellent. Now, the last person that I'm going to need is going to be Kenya Menjiva. Let's see, Kenya, choose your question and at the same time, please give me the honor and choose a victim. Where is the... Um, voy entrando a la clase, mi sorry. <laughs> no se preocupe, pero mire, la única que sí nos falta es esta. Ya las demás las preguntaron. Okay. Where is Dam's drugstore? To whom? I uh, 
Um, vamos a ver. Eh, Mayra. Okay. Excellent, Mayra. So, where is dance, dance drugstore? Drugstore. ¿Dónde está? <laughs> Over here. Por aquí. Mm -hmm. Aquí tengo el puntero. Okay. Okay. Eh, okay. ver. On the on the corner of um, on the corner ver, Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Next to what, Mayra? Mm -hmm. Next to what? A oh, la parte que. Uh, oh, sí. Eh, next to um, y que este es de que no veo bien supermarket oh excuse me supermarket entonces sería next to and supermarket no yo le doy ah, las dos opciones para que la haga junta ah sí es cierto corner of porque si sí estaba bien lo que dijo on the corner of second avenue sí, next sí. to avenue. supermarket next to supermarket uh -huh. ok Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. To be more specific, right? Eh, sé que puede ser más fácil solamente decir eh, Second Avenue, Center Street, pero a veces ya cuando lo estamos poniendo en práctica in real life, tenemos que ser un poco más específicos. A veces hasta de un árbol nos apoyamos, right? So you need to be a little bit more specific and that's why sometimes we use more than one place to guide ourselves. Now listen guys, very good job. I'm impressed. You are handling quite well this topic. And we're going to move on to the following topic, which is giving directions. No es lo mismo hablar de dónde está localizado un lugar a tener que dar la dirección de cómo llegar a ese lugar. All right? So we're going to practice with that. Let me check this, all right? We have this conversation. Is it far from here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Es probable que quizás no todos hayan eh, avanzado en esta parte de la plataforma, así que vamos a, voy a compartir con ustedes, let me see. Dicho una pregunta. Ajá. Y mañana el examen. Yes, yes, indeed. Eh, hacer en la hora de la clase. Sí, eso les iba a comentar que no estoy segura si en teoría ustedes tendrían que hacerlo aparte, right? Porque siempre con los otros grupos lo han hecho aparte, pero igual podemos tener aquí un review para que lo hagan y ya en la noche o antes de la noche ustedes lo finalicen, right? Bueno. Oh, o sea, que va a estar en la plataforma. Sí. Yes, ya está aquí, miren, ve, el Meet Transa. Es, son las cuatro, las cuatro ítems que estaban. Sí, solo son cuatro partes, creo yo. Let me see. Déjeme chequear. Okay. Es un audio, es un audio, ¿verdad? Y, y hay que contestarlo. Uy. Tenemos más, son five, five. We have from A to E. Vamos desde la A hasta la E en los literales. Pero eso lo vamos a ver mañana, right? Porque antes de irme al Mitron Exam, necesito trabajar este tema con ustedes. All right, uh, give me one second. Esperemos que algún día cargue la página. Okay, there you have it. Directions and conversation. Is it far from here? All right, everybody. Yo imagino que están viendo ahorita la, la platform, ¿verdad? ¿Sí la ven? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Thank you, all right. Vamos a chequear este video. Escuchemos la pronunciation. Yo voy a ir parándolo por partes. Después de la conversation, vamos a llegar hasta ahí y la vamos a practicar la conversation. Después vamos a seguir analizando el video, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque esta parte puede ser un poquito más compleja. No difícil ni imposible, pero sí un poco más compleja. So, let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? 
Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to prime. All right, let's check this. Let me go to the conversation again, okay? Here we go. I hope you have listened carefully the audio of the conversation. If not, do not worry, I'm going to do it right now, all right? Yo voy a volver a hacer la conversation. Presten atención, donde, tenga duda, donde tengan dudas de la pronunciation, pueden hacerlas, all right? No se queden con eso. Here we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, eh, señora, all right? Algunos, eh, algunas personas lo suelen utilizar cuando hay gente joven, eh, personas jóvenes, right? Y son del género femenino, también les llaman ma'am, right? Pero en este caso es señora, right? If you look into the picture, she's a man, right? No es man de hombre, no, it's ma'am, right? Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Vuelvo, repito esto, Empire State Building. Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up, all right? Now let's get started with this conversation, my dear students. Let me go with uh, Veronica Esmeralda, you are the tourist, and Alba Aguilar, you are the woman. Action. Hey. Excuse me. <laughs> ¿Sabe que me sonó esta, eh, perdón, esta, esta expresión cuando la gente le dice a uno madre? <laughs> Madrecita. Uh, uh, sí. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Bueno, para que vean, este, ellos tienen sus slangs, right? <laughs> Pero no, aquí es ma'am. En realidad, en teoría, es como más fancy para ellos. Es un poco más elegante, right? A ver, ¿dónde está la, dónde está la señorita Verónica? The Let's tourist. see them, please. Okay. okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get... How do I get so? Uh, How do I get to? Uh, to Patrick? ¿Qué sería? ¿Cómo sería ahí este street? Eh, no, este no, es Saint, de no. Saint, eh, Saint, básicamente, porque este es de San Patricio, o sea, Saint Patrick. Ah, ok. Saint Patrick Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Hola. Girl, your microphone, it went out. <laughs> Thank you. And where? And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent, bravo, very good girls, thank you. All right, let me go check to somebody else. Miren, esta conversation puede parecer simple, all right, simple. O oh, mire, ¿para qué la vamos a practicar tanto? Desde aquí están empezando a utilizar el vocabulary que vamos a desarrollar, por eso necesito que lo empecemos a utilizar desde allá, all right? 
Let's go with uh, Lisette Montoya. Lisette, you are the tourist. And Gabriela Choto, you are the woman. Action. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Uh, thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Uh, is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look out. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Let me go with Miguel Navarro. You are the tourist and, and Kenya Menjivar. You are the woman. Action. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do, you, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up, walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick is on the right. This is near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Uh, and where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. Cuando le dice, just turn around, es como, dése la vuelta, right? Y vea hacia arriba. And look up. Y ahí está el Empire State Building. Let me go with... Elizabeth Campos, you are the woman in Jose Carpio, you are the tourist. Action. Okay, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help, help me? How do I get up to Street Patrick Cathedral? Just walk. No, quiero ver. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. St. Patrick is on the right. It's, it is near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It's it for far from here. It's right behind you. Just just turn around and look up. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Let me go with Sonia del Tránsito. Sonia, usted no ha pasado, right? No, teacher. Okay. So no, ahorita. <laughs> No, let me see. No, si en toda la clase va a pasar una diez veces. Okay, okay. Let me see. You are woman. Déjeme, le busco un tourist por aquí. Que no haya pasado. Manuel Rosales, you are the tourist. Action. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Ah, Sonia, you are the woman. Sorry. Usted es la, la mujer, la señora, woman. Ah, ok, ok. Action. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, can you help me? How do you get uh, to uh, Patrick's Cathedral? Just one, one up Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. Uh, St. Patrick's is on the right. It's is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the is Inspiring Stage Building? It's right behind you. 
just turn around and look up. All right, excellent. Thank you guys, very good. Now, let's see. Let me go with somebody else. I think that was the last pair. And Anita, let's see, Ana, usted va a ser a woman. And Jancy Jimenez, you are the tourist. Action. A ver si están estas men por aquí. Let's see, Jancy, are you there? Okay. If we don't have them, let's move on to the video. Let's continue with the video, guys. All right. Let me go. Let me go to the video again. Here we go. Let's pay attention. All right. Después de esto, vamos a lo que es en sí el tema. Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. All right, everybody. Creo que a ustedes les va apareciendo aquí también la parte en español, right? Vayan escuchando al mismo tiempo, traten de ir eh, anotando lo que significan estas directions en español, all right? Para que no se les dificulte mucho. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So... Let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to, and we mention a place. Or, how can I get to, then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up, go up, walk down, go down. Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. All right, let's be clear in this part, everybody. Let's pay attention. We only have two types of questions that we can formulate in order to ask directions, all right? And these are these. How do I get to the hospital? How can I get to, how can I get to the city bank, all right? Then this part that it says for answers, this is vocabulary that you need to memorize basically, right? The same way as you memorize the prepositions of place, you must indeed memorize this vocabulary, all right? So let's continue and then we are going to practice. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions, walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Remember that in order for you to give a direction, you need to know where is the started point, right? Donde estamos localizados es lo primero que tenemos que saber. Porque no podemos andar perdidos dando las directions, right? Tenemos que saber dónde estamos. Entonces, si estamos... Si partimos de un punto, si tenemos un punto de partida, se nos hace un poco más fácil localizar las demás direcciones, right? Eso es lo que él menciona en el video. Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or Go up Fifth Avenue. Now, let's pretend that we are at... Okay, let's take a look at this one. Walk on... Déjenme ver, quiero ver. Quiero chequear este vocabulary. Walk up... 
walk up significa camine hacia arriba, right? Cuando dice go up es suba, por, right? Cuando utilizamos go up es usual que lo utilicemos cuando quizás vamos en un medio de transporte, right? Go up. Porque ya no vamos ejerciendo la acción de caminar, ya decimos go up, right? Just to keep into your minds. 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. Okay, let's check this up. On the right, according to this translator, it says a la derecha, right? Lo que nosotros hacemos aquí Es que decimos a mano derecha, right? In Spanish, in Spanish we say a mano derecha va a encontrar tal cosa. A mano izquierda puede encontrar el hospital, right? Entonces, en este caso decimos on the right, on the left, right? A la izquierda, a la derecha, okay? Left es izquierda, right? Left es izquierda, and right es derecha, right? Let's get started by there. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Hi, All right, excellent. Let's go back to the class then. So this is the vocabulary. Just in case that you didn't have the time, the enough time to copy the vocabulary from the video, please copy this. Porque les digo que lo copien, all right? Porque yo siempre tengo estas preguntas de inicio de clase. Y ustedes pueden utilizar sus anotaciones, all right, para poder contestarlas. Entonces, si mañana les pregunto, hey, how... Which are the questions that we use to ask for directions? Ustedes ya saben cuáles son las preguntas que utilizamos para pedir direcciones. Okay. What are the vocabulary words that we have to provide directions? ¿Cuáles son las palabras o cuál es el vocabulario que utilizamos para dar direcciones? There you have it. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on, all right? Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left, all right? So far, guys, are we understanding this part? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Entendemos esta parte? ¿Tienen alguna duda de este vocabulary? ¿O quieren saber qué significa alguna de estas palabras en español? Traducción. Please. Translation. All right, all right. Let me see. Déjeme tomar agua, okay? Ya se las traduzco. Now, walk up. ¿A qué les suena a usted, Miguel, el walk up? Caminar. Ajá, exactly. Pero hacia dónde? ¿Para arriba o para abajo? Hacia arriba. 
Exactly. Walk up is caminar hacia arriba. If I say go up, ¿qué quiero decir? Sin sí, ejercer la caminar. Exactly. Exactly. Subir. Basic. Go up es solamente subir, all right? Si ustedes se han fijado en los elevators, en los ascensores, a veces aparece así, go up, go down, all right? Porque no están ejerciendo la acción de caminar, entonces no podemos decir go up, right? Makes no sense. En este caso, por eso utilizamos go up. Luego tenemos walk down. Si yo digo walk down, ¿a qué les suena a ustedes? Let's see. Caminar hacia abajo, entonces. Caminar hacia abajo. Caminar hacia abajo, exactly. That's the opposite, es lo opuesto, right? Up es hacia arriba, down es hacia abajo. Y luego, si digo go down. Bajar. Baje o bajar, exactly. That's correct. Así de simple. Then, if I say turn left on, recuerden que left es izquierda, right? Left es izquierda. So, turn left on, aquí yo me refiero a gire a la izquierda, right? Turn left on. Gire a la izquierda en First Avenue, en la primera avenida, right? Then you got turn right on. Gire a la derecha en... Center Street. Turn right on Center Street. All right. Entonces, una es gira a la izquierda en tal calle o gira a la derecha en otra calle. On the right. Cuando ya llegamos al lugar localizado, pero no sabemos si está... Ya giramos a la izquierda, supongamos. Pero a la izquierda aquí. All right. Pero... No nos dijeron si estaba del lado derecho o del lado izquierdo, right? Porque hacer la acción de girar es algo bien diferente a cuando ya estamos en el lugar. Entonces, para eso utilizamos el on the right. Lo que nosotros decimos a mano derecha, right? A mano eh, derecha, sí, on the right. O on the left, que sería a la izquierda, right? También ellos utilizan on the right hand, on the left hand, right? Pero... Ya eso es como que bien traducido. Entonces, solo podemos decir on the right and on the left. Hasta aquí. ¿Tienen otra duda del vocabulary? No. Tal vez la traducción de, de las four questions. How do, how do I get up? Y how okay, can I get up? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Aquí está diciendo usted, ¿cómo llego? ¿Cómo llego al hospital? How can I get out? Aquí ya estoy utilizando un auxiliary verb. Entonces ya aquí digo, ¿cómo puedo llegar a tal lugar? Ok. Una es directa, ¿cómo llego? Hey, mire, ¿cómo llego a, a the hospital? Y la otra es, mire, ¿cómo puedo llegar? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a tal lugar? That's the difference. Another question. Ahorita despejen dudas porque... Después le va a tocar terminar toda la section 3. Si no es que ya la terminaron. Yes. Excellent. Really good. All right. So, so far so good. I think this is pretty clear. All right. Vamos a ver qué tan clarito nos quedó. All right. Porque ya con la práctica es algo eh, más fuerte. All right. So, let's see. We have these questions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Y nos da dos opciones, walk up o go up Fifth Avenue. Esto es para que vean cómo van a ir ordenando sus ideas, right? Junto con las eh, prepositions of place y también con las directions. Ok, then you have turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. Recuerdan que cuando estábamos haciendo la práctica con las prepositions of place, yo les decía que fácilmente solo podemos decir la calle donde está. Y si está visible el lugar, pues ahí no hay donde perderse, right? Lo mismo es aquí cuando utilizamos eh, it's on the right. right. Después de que ya dimos el lugar, ya dimos cómo cruzar, cómo llegar, solo podemos decir it's on the right, right? Let's go to the next one. How can I get to Bryant? Park, walk down or go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 
42nd Street. No van a decir 42, aquí es 42nd Street. Y luego es, it's on the left, right? Now, let me go. Ahora quiero ver cómo vamos con esta pronunciation de estas directions. And let me see. Let's start with Alba. Albita, you ask the questions. Usted pregunta ambas questions. And Jose Carpio, usted responde las questions, please. Okay. okay Ready? Uh, repeat, please. How do I how do I get to Rockefeller Center? Mm. Uh, what up? Uh, 50 what? Avenue. Or and or to left on uh, 49 Street. It's on the right. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. Continue. And how can I get to Ryan Park? Well, well done or uh, good down, Fig Avenue. To right now, 42, 42nd Street, east on the left. All right, excellent. Okay, thank you. Very good, así ya llega, Almita. <laughs> excellent, very good. Now, listen, guys. No, this is by fact, all right? Esto es en serio que se utiliza, aunque creamos que no, but yes, you're going to use it, believe it. All right, everybody, we're going to stop in here. I'm not going anywhere before letting you know that you have to finish the platform. Tomorrow we are going to work in this part, which is the last one, but also we're going to work on the midterm exam, all right? I'm going to try to help you. Of course, cuando digo que vamos a hacer el midterm exam es porque ustedes lo van a hacer conmigo, right? Voy a traer las respuestas ya hechas. All right, everybody, that was pretty much it for today's class, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night.